All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited to announce another very special guest to the podcast, to this series. And of course, as before, before we dive into anything, before I bring on this guest, I want to let everyone know this is not a paid promotion. This is not a paid or sponsored video in any way. All I'm trying to do is find really dope people building really cool projects and bring them on to share what they're trying to build in the NFT space. So without further ado, let's bring on Grin. Grin, how are you doing today, my man? Uh, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for doing what you're doing. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I'm super excited. You know, I was I was scanning the internet as most of us do. I saw Doodle Noodles. I saw Josh and some other people which would you know talk on um, tweet about it. And I was instantly intrigued. And I'm luckily, glad. yeah, thank you, man. You know, you know, I know you're happy to be on the show. I'm happy that you responded to the DM and mm -hmm. you know we're down to do it in such short notice. I wasn't even aware that the pre-sale was happening right away, but yeah, it yeah. Had to be perfect timing. So before we dive too much into the project can we do a little quick introduction on grin and who you are yeah sure so um i've been an artist for about 13 years now and um, digital artist uh, that's where my background is i recently just finished my master's in physics uh, which is where the sort of dev background comes from so i'm the founder the artist and the contract dev for doodle noodles nft and um, we're the first ramen brand in web3 uh first ramen brand from an nft project that will be starting which means that essentially our little noodle snake nfts will everyone who holds one will be dropped actual physical doodle noodles ramen after sellout um so we're, we're start trying to start a food brand through our, our web3 project here and bring value to holders in a sort of unique and never before seen way so i think we're the first food brand on nfts I, I haven't seen one before josh our community advisor he's been around a long time yeah. he hasn't seen anyone anyone before either so we're running with it if if anyone wants to prove me wrong feel free but uh, i think we are the first we're certainly the first ramen brand <laughs> look yeah no matter what at least you're the first ramen brand yeah I, also, yeah I haven't seen anyone in the food space which again is one of the reasons i was so intrigued to to talk to you um you know, the, the first question I have is just like, how did this even come about? Like, you know, why ramen? And, you know, who came up with this idea? Well, who doesn't love ramen? Uh, so basically, um, the ramen brand actually came first. Um, so I've been in NFTs now since about sort of March, April time, um, just as an investor. And obviously, because I'm an artist, um, and I was finishing up my degree. And so I have all this these skills as a dev as well. It just sort of was the perfect storm for me where it started off as the ramen idea and then it sort of merged into doing doodle noodles. The doodle noodles name came first where I was like, yeah, let's let's do that. And then we sort of had an idea. I know there's a lot of sort of animal based NFT projects and sort of had an idea about what would we do the actual NFTs around. And, uh, you know, like snakes are called danger noodles on, uh, on the internet quite often danger noodles nope ropes etc so we were going to do i thought it would be a good idea to do them as snakes um so i brought sort of the artistic side to it merge that with the ramen idea the ramen isn't the only thing we're doing by the way but um it's sort of become the sort of staple because it seems to be the thing that people latch on to most uh so far yeah i think it's exciting like i said just the fact that you're going to provide a physical package of ramen yeah um, you know it, that's, also, that's really cool also, it's like we want the well. I want the community to be like a huge part of the ramen as well. So, like the reason it's it's a post sellout is I want everyone to be holding a noodle first, obviously, but I also want people's input. So, I would love people's input on the flavors that we're doing, uh, that we're manufacturing, the packaging that we're doing. Uh, I'll be posting actually a packaging preview up this week, but I'd love the community to vote on one of the noodles to go on the packaging, like officially. Um, and yeah. so one of the holders can get theirs on the package so i want it to be like a sort of community-led event we ship worldwide the ramen everyone can taste it we can do spicy challenges if we do like spicy ramen awesome yeah yeah so i want it to be like that's why web3 is good right because it's an interactive experience so i want that to be the the goal i have a sort of two-year mentality on this rather than a two-month mentality this isn't a a quick sort of cash grab which you see in the the spaces so much now but yes. um this is a brand this is a this is looking to the world future, you know? Yeah, I love that you said that. And obviously that sentence will go a long way with your community and what you're building. Because like I said, there's a lot of pump and dumps or whatever you want to call it, but the ones that are building for the future in the next couple of years will obviously win. Um, I think so. Um, yeah. Hopefully everyone agrees, I think. Can we, can we touch on... So first of all, I love the name. Doodle Noodles, hilarious name. 
simple, yeah. easy, logo, branding, all that stuff is looking great. Um, what what was the inspiration behind offering to plant? I believe it is three trees for each NFT purchased. Yeah, so um, basically planted. Everyone, like, climate change is, a, like, an issue close to my heart, and it's I'm sure it's an issue close to everyone else's heart as well. Um, One Tree Planted is a, it's a charity I came across through, like, my own work, um, which is basically it's a it's a charity that they plant one tree for every one dollar that you donate so we thought it'd be a great idea to start off with a twenty thousand dollar donation which um is twenty thousand trees in the amazon and um, there's actually a link on our discord server which i'll be sharing on twitter and um, close to the the release as well that is basically it goes into detail about the project but it's twenty thousand trees in the amazon and um, we thought it'd be a good idea because obviously great cause, but also crypto and NFTs sort of have this bad reputation for climate um, damage, etc. So we thought we'd offset that. It's a charity that we want to continue giving to post sellout as well. So like um, some of the royalties from the the secondary sales and all that going forward will be going to planting more trees. And I'd love for the community to be picking which projects we do, because this charity plants trees all over the world. So Amazon, the Amazon is just a starting project. It's beautiful, man. I love that you're building in for, you know, further utility that pushes past what the NFT is. And yeah, that's the idea. Back. Exactly. It, no, it's beautiful. Um, can we touch on the artwork is cool. I love that you're doing the snakes. Um, can we touch on the artwork and, you know, obviously you even say it's, it says they're going to be evolving. So we can, can we touch on like, I guess how these designs came about and how they'll evolve? Yeah, so the the actual noodles themselves won't evolve. So what's going to be evolving is these are sort of what I've wanted to do for a long time is because I've been in the space, I mean, since, yeah, March, April, so nine months, something like that now. Um, essentially, what I wanted to do was I'd been coding this thing over the summer, which is an evolving mechanism that goes into the smart contract behind the NFT. And what it does is it, um, it evolves the NFTs based on outside influences so in this case we're going to be doing a trading card game called omens nice. um and there's more information about that on our twitter by the way and actually on our website um if you scroll down you'll be able to see on the site uh sorry on the website not the twitter yeah that's, yeah that's, yep. um keep scrolling and you'll get to it eventually yes omens there is there omens, so yeah. We're doing Omens, which is a trading card game that is linked to the Doodle Noodles collection. Um, so each Omens card is an NFT. So if you've ever played Gods Unchained, the TCG, it's That's think it. of it like that, right? So it's like a play to earn game where each card is an NFT. Um, and th those NFT cards within the game evolve based on the price of the Doodle Noodles collection. So you'll actually be able to play your Doodle Noodles in the game in a very specific way as well. But the cards themselves are the things that will be evolving, not the noodles. But I wanted to bring something, as I said, innovate, innovate on the chain, innovate in this space. Yes. And this is something I haven't seen done before um, in terms of like a... The, the reason that's a post-sellout goal is because the contract for the evolving omens is quite a costly contract. You know, it's got a lot of like variables and a lot of functions in it that allow it to work. So it's quite a lot to deploy, which is why Absolutely. we need the capital to let it happen first. So... That's why the noodles don't evolve straight up and it's going to be the omens that do. It's exciting, man. I, I like to do that. I've, I even noticed here now you're doing the a golden rune system. Yep. Which is allowing five lucky people to you. I get to have a custom doodle by you, which again, is further utility that you don't have to provide, but you are. Yeah. You know, which well, is great. I'm in the unique position where I do everything on the project. So like I'm the artist and the dev at the same time. So like I can offer stuff like that where it's, it's taking up nothing but my time you know, to do that. So, which I'm happy to do. I mean, you'll find me on the Discord literally every day on Twitter, speaking to all the community, speaking to the members. Um, and I think that's the way it should be. You know, it's, it, you need, we need our founders and our our project managers, et cetera, to be there every single day because that is what Web3 is about. That's what the exactly. NFT communities are about. I love it. So can, can you touch on when the, when the whitelist, the one, sorry, when the pre-sale is happening and if, if there's any other further details that you'd like to tease, during this you know feel free to go ahead and do that yeah sure so uh first of all our pre-sale goes live on monday so the 27th of december and um, we'll post an exact time on that date 
So want to keep everyone guessing a little bit on the day, um, keep everyone excited. The pre-sale will go on for 48 hours. And actually, as it happens, gas is quite low at the moment. So that's been quite relatively low. So that's been quite good. So you'll have 48 hours to mint in that period if you've been whitelisted. There's still time to get whitelisted. If you come onto the Discord, we'll sort you out. Um, you can get um, you can get whitelisted, start talking to the community, etc. So the, the pre-sale will go from the 27th to the 29th. And after 48 hours, the public mint will go live. And um, yeah, so that'll all be through our website. Um, you'll be able to mint through the website, which we'll be releasing details on our Twitter and Discord uh, this weekend, which will be really cool. As far as teasing things, um, I guess, I mean, this actual, this avatar that I'm using in this interview hasn't been seen yet by the community at large so we'll actually be giving this away um today and tomorrow all the way through till the 26th um to one of the lucky mentors i will say as well that we're actually giving away three all expenses paid trips to japan oh wow uh, yeah yeah so we're giving away those to you'll be able to see that on our roadmap on twitter as well where exactly where we'll be giving those away so i think it's 50 percent sold 75 percent sold and 100 percent sold and i'll be tailoring those trips around the winners so I'll give them a budget. I'll ask them what hotel they want, what uh, plane trip they want, and then whatever money's left over, we'll be spending money for them. Uh, and it'll be a generous budget. So I want to tailor it around. That's the roadmap there, yeah. So you'll see, giving away an, a one-of-one one original for the uh, one of the wallets in the first 500 mints, a one-of-one one original for one of the wallets in the first 1,000 mints, Japan trip, merch, uh, 20,000 uh, trees, Japan trip, custom NFTs at 100% sold, another Japan trip, and then the post sellout is where the, the ramen brand and the omens come in. Very, very exciting. Look, honestly, man, like I love that we were able to talk, and I, I really like that you guys have, you've, you've personally put so much thought into this. Um, it's been a long time. To be yeah, I, I know you've been grinding, and you know I commend you for that, and I'm, I'm very excited for you guys for you, to see this come to life. To see the mint happen, to see everything kind of come to fruition for you guys, and to see you guys, and to see you further build this out. Um, cause it's exciting, you know, and the utility you're providing, like not many have done this or are trying to do this. Yeah. Well, so, that was the goal. I mean, everyone's doing DAOs now. Everyone's doing utility yeah. tokens that don't actually have too much utility. Um, not to like disparage other projects, but at this point, I think it's time for people to come in and bring some new ideas to the space. And that's what I'm trying to do with this. Exactly. I think this is what ex what's exciting about web three and these types of projects is the next exactly. few years you guys will be around and you, you will bring so many new people. These types of projects will bring so many new people into the space um, and allow them to share and, you know, unique experiences, which I, which I love. And I, I love to see. So if you guys haven't already, I've, I'm sure you've seen it all over the, all over the screen, make sure you follow at doodle, doodle noodle NFT. Um, yep. As always do your own research, enjoy hop into, I always tell people when there's a project, whether I promote it, whether anyone's sharing or creating content around it, hop into the discord. Don't yeah, I mean, you'll find me in the Discord whatever time you, you hop into it. I haven't mm -hmm. slept in about two months at this point. So, <laughs> yeah, you'll find me there pretty much all the time. I'll always say hello. I'll always uh, sort you out. We'll have conversations and stuff. It's really cool. You should jump in. There we go. So, please jump in. Like I said, you know, experience what's being built um, and get to, like, you know, talk with the community and see what's happening. I think that's what's most exciting about these projects. And other than that, great man, I really appreciate it. I'm excited to to check in and see how things kind of build out for you for the rest of the year and into 2022. And I hope to obviously get one of myself because I'm a huge ramen lover. So I, I would love to be able to have a custom package of ramen. Oh, I'm so excited for the ramen. Yeah, so excited for it. It's going to be so good. All right, brother. Well, stay safe. Enjoy your holidays. Christmas is coming up. Hopefully you'll get some sleep and yeah. you know, best, best of luck with this project. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Thank you.